Hello, my name's Jeb Loy Nichols, and today we're going to learn how to cut a simple block and make a print from it. This is a technique called block printing, and you can use anything as a block. You can use wood, vinyl, styrofoam, you know, anything you can cut. As you can see, there's a wide range of effects you can get from different materials. Now today we're going to be using a, a Japanese vinyl block. It's easy to cut, it's inexpensive, and it uh, prints well. We'll also be using simple lino cutting tools that you can buy in any craft store or art supply shop. We'll be using water-based inks and looking at a variety of burnishers. Now it all starts with a sketch. Look for something bold or something that fills the page in a simple, uncomplicated way something with some movement in it. Now if you want to use words, don't forget that you've got to print them backwards, as if you're looking in a mirror. Now once you're happy with your sketch, you can just transfer it over to the vinyl using a pencil. And don't be too worried about getting it perfect, because we can always deal with that later. Now you want to get a little scrap of vinyl if you've got one, just to get a feel for the cutting process. Gently run the tool through the vinyl. Don't gouge it out. It's a very easy thing to cut. Make smooth movements away from your body. Now you can use different nibs, or different cutting heads for different size cuts. Choose the one that feels most comfortable to you and suits your block the best. Now, start by creating an outline around your design. Just cutting a simple line to help you get an overall feeling for how your design is filling the block. Then you can go in and start cutting away some of the larger areas. Take your time. Just slow down. Cutting a block, it takes as long as it takes. There's no pressure. There's no time limit. Now just cut for a while and see what you got. Keep looking. Keep watching what you're doing. Now you might want to leave bits, take a print, and then come back and see if you want to cut them out or not. You never know. Now when you think you got everything cut, you might want to get rid of extra bits of the block that you're not going to need. You can just cut these away. And then we can move on to printing. Now what you'll need is something to roll the ink out on, a piece of glass works or a piece of plastic. You take your ink, squidge a little dollop out on the glass. You don't need much, you're never gonna need much, and start rolling it. Now you wanna roll it enough to get a little bit of heat in there so the heat will warm up the ink and let it roll nicely onto the block. Roll it onto the block in a simple, easy way. Don't push down. Let the roller just ride over the top of the lino. You can keep going back and forth until you think you've got every little bit done. You don't want to over-ink it because that'll put too much ink on the page. But you can always go back and put more ink on. When you think you're ready, put a piece of paper on, gently rub it to attach it to the ink, and then select a burnisher. Now, I use an old wooden spoon, but you can use anything. You can use uh, old bits of wood. You can use uh, nice bamboo burnishers from Japan. But whatever you feel comfortable with, you want to take that and begin to rub over the block. Now, you can pull back the block when you think you've got it done and, and think, well, actually, it's a little bit light in that, in that area. And just go back in, lay it back down, and just give it another little burnish. When you think you've got it done, pull the paper off the block, turn it over, and there you are. Finished print. Looks good, doesn't it? Now one thing you gotta do is you gotta clean your block. Just with a damp rag run over it, because the, if you let the ink dry on the block, that'll cause the block to become brittle and old. But that's what we got. We got a finished print. Well done.
Thanks for watching.